Soccer is confidence. Mentality is something that really makes a good athlete, and if you look at all high-level athletes, that's something that's really inspiring to me. My earliest memory of soccer is probably the rec league I used to play in, and I remember I was actually on one of the worst teams. We were called Team Greece, and I think we were the worst in the league, um, but I just loved playing and I loved having a ball at my foot. I think my greatest achievement so far in soccer has been training with Melbourne Victory in Australia, which was amazing, and I trained with LSK in Norway, which was also super cool because I was training with players that had played in World Cups and at the highest level, so it was really cool to be surrounded by such amazing players. Going into that professional environment was definitely very nerve-wracking for me. Confidence has always been a bit of an issue because I make a mistake in a game and sometimes I get my head down and I stress out about it. So walking in, it was just very different than what I'm used to because the practice starts and everyone is fighting for that spot, like fighting for a starting position on the team. So it's just such a high intensity during those trainings. I think one thing that was surprising to me was just seeing how different all of the players were off the field versus how they were on the field. When they were off, they're all talking to each other and joking around, but once they get on the field, they all flip a switch so quickly and that was just crazy to see. I would tell a younger player that it's very important to believe in yourself and have confidence that you can do whatever you set your mind to as long as you're putting in the work. Just make sure that you're taking risks and doing everything you can. Um, when I was younger, I guess I looked at a higher level as something that was out of reach for me, but I just made sure I was always working my hardest and doing everything I could. I think one of my biggest challenges I faced was breaking my collarbone my freshman year and then being cleared from that injury and breaking it again only a few days after I was cleared. So I took about six months of recovery time um, considering both those two breaks. And as I was recovering from that, I was in the middle of changing clubs. So it was really difficult to be coming back from an injury and also starting at a new club at the same time. My most exciting moment in my soccer career so far was probably committing to University of Virginia. I had been working really hard that season to make sure I, was, I showcased my best during our tournament in Florida. Um, following that tournament, I talked to a lot of schools, and once I visited Virginia, I loved it, and I loved the coaches um, and the team atmosphere. So calling the coach back when I had made my decision to commit there was probably the most exciting moment I've had so far. I think the biggest impact that this whole COVID situation has had on soccer is just the uncertainty um, because as of right now we don't know if we're going to have a fall season so that uncertainty is a little bit difficult to deal with but um, we're just always hoping for the best. I think that um, COVID will have an impact on soccer in a way where athletes are, we don't take for granted being able to play games and being able to play in front of fans. Just because having that taken away from you makes you realize what a big deal it is to have that. When this is over, I can't wait to play in a tournament with my team um, and be playing in some real games. Just know that we've all gotten through this and we're on the other side of it. I'm Dagan Miller and I'm headed to play D1 soccer at the University of Virginia.